Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Also, David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Episode 3. Yeah, before we get into that, let me apologize for wearing white. I know, it, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> okay, but now, towards uh, getting into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was actually pretty cool. Um, we got a chance to see some really, really good foreshadowing here. Yeah. Um, and some more special effects. Like, they went, they went bigger. They changed, like, gravity. <laughs> in this one, yeah, dude, I mean the the hanging Mac the back Mac truck that was for, in cool. space that was pretty cool, yeah. yeah, and the whole being upside down thing, and I mean now so the episode starts off where their asset who was in the truck gets a uh, gets kidnapped by some dude because um, he's like I need you to build some doomsday machine. That's not the important part here. Okay, I mean that's that's important, but that's not the important. Part <laughs> what's the important part? Here. The important part is the big truck. With the freaking digital display on the windshield. Okay, there yeah, 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 Okay, because okay. I mean, I'm not really a big techie. He is, but that was pretty awesome. I'm used to seeing that. That's that's every day for me. I had that on my phone actually. <laughs> my phone's better than his. No, it's not. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, then he gets kidnapped, and they're like, "Oh, we should probably get him back." They said they, they decide to send uh, Skyler. I think that's her name, or Sky. Yeah, Sky. Yeah, Sky. Uh, send her undercover. She's received like five minutes of training, and she's weak, and like her. Her idea of using the punching bag was like, uh, uh. Yeah, and, and what's his name the, who's uh, training her right now is like, yeah, she won't commit to anything. So Coulson, who uh, is a master manipulator, at least in this show, like before I just thought he was awesome, just an awesome a agent, but right. he's a master manipulator. He's like, yeah, tell her a story about yourself. Make sure it's true, and she'll trust you. So it works. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah. Yeah, like he told him about getting beat up for eating birthday cake. Which was kind of a lame story. Yeah, it really was. By the way, he also told her that there's no truth serum. Like, if you remember the first episode where he got drugged, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I just, yeah, well, you were lied to. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't believe that. Yeah. So, they, anyways, they sent her undercover to this guy, this rich guy's house. She got there, by the way, using her connections with the Rising Tide. Mm -hmm. um, we're still not sure where she's at or what the rising tide even is yeah it's all we know is that they post pictures of hulk killing things <laughs> then uh <laughs> so she, she gets there um they go to they, he, basically she, she gets caught basically and she's like oh well uh shield is listening she i guess she panicked and told the truth she didn't panic she got smart she was smart enough to realize that as long as she told dude exactly what was happening yeah. he would stop watching what was happening right and then uh they uh use her contract trick. yeah 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 whatever I hate magic. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so she uses her little compact mirror thing, which has a hacking device in it, and is somehow able to wirelessly access computers that have no wireless access. That's awesome. That'll make no sense, but I'm going to go with it because it's shield. They, uh, t and then there's like a laser grid around the, the compound where you could just, just be disintegrated because pe normal people just have that. Yeah, well, no, no. This guy's rich as crap. Yeah, but, but he's not like... He's not like AIM. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why do you have this? But maybe, but maybe he uses AIM. Maybe. But the important thing about the laser grid, of course, you know, um, Coulson and whatever other dude's name is, I'll remember this by next week, mind you. But you probably won't. He's yeah, not probably. a main character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Coulson and other dude who kicks people's butts, um, they get surrounded by the by the troops who are you know outside of the grid. Yeah. They kick the crap out of them. Coulson tries to disassemble dude's gun. He can't do it, and so he's like. You know, I used to be able to do this. And the dude takes the gun and just throws it against the grid. <laughs> and it disintegrates, yeah. So no. then it gets, the, the grid gets knocked down for a couple seconds. They get in. Um, they they find uh, the, the the guy, the asset. Uh, his name is Franklin Hall. And uh, for you diehard Marvel fans, yeah, we know. We were excited, too. And then uh, <laughs> then uh, Coulson is trying to talk the guy down. He's like, hey, man, stop uh, destroying the eye where I'm currently residing. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then uh, one of the smart people, one of the, the science people, that he has uh, the girl yeah I, I don't, we also don't I, I don't because they're they're not important I'm sorry um, she tells him hey the only way to disrupt it is to throw some sort of chemical reaction into it and the guy's are like I'm crazy uh. Coles is like you know what you <laughs> and drops him in yeah she shoots the glass and he falls in he gets into the the, the, the black gravity mess which come on okay now now because one of our fans actually said to us, we didn't give him time before we spoiled something for him. We're going to stop for a second. This is a spoiler alert. Right. They don't mention it in the episode. So if you don't want to know, you have till right now to pause it. 
Now. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> so, for those of you who didn't just pause, Franklin Hall is a scientist for S.H.I.E.L.D. who is also known as... Graviton. Graviton! Now, for those of you who don't know who Graviton is, if you have watched Earth's Mightiest Heroes, season one, the first, two episodes. Epi- first two episodes, Graviton was the villain that they were fighting who was kicking the crap out of everyone until the Hulk decided to show yes, up. Yes, because he, he was doing really good. He's like, I'm stronger than all of you. I'm the strongest one there is. Cue Which, the Hulk. It's, it's like saying Beetlejuice three times. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, Hulk's like, so, I heard you thought you were stronger than me. And then Hulk just decides, I'm done. I'm going to beat you in the face. Yeah, and then, okay, you know, and this, this is off topic. <laughs> but um, the Hulk... In that particular episode, he's getting like getting smashed down. Okay, the Hulk weighs 1,500 pounds for, for those of you who are, who are up on Marvel Facts. Hulk weighs 1,500 pounds. The, like 100 times Earth's gravity is being dropped on him. And he goes, yeah, no. I'm going to jump up there and punch you in the face. <laughs> and he does. He yeah. jumps and punches him in the face. So yeah, he was no. hitting him with some major gravity. He kept pushing and pushing and pushing. Hulk's like, I'm not having none of this. This is madness. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, so basically, we knew as soon as he got thrown into the gravity goop that he was going to become Graviton. And we even predicted what body part was going to come. Yeah, out. at the very end of the episode, if you looked, uh, you know, they put him in the little unmarked container thing. A hand pops out of the goop, which I mean, come on, we 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 knew yeah, that was, yeah, we knew yeah, that would happen. Yeah. So, looks like Agents of Shield decided to have their first supervillain. Which may mean that we get to bring back the uh, guy who we were hoping was Luke Cage, but turned out to not be Luke Cage. Yeah. Um, but even still, he's not powered enough. No, he really isn't. He's. I mean, I think Black Widow could take that guy. Black Widow could take. Yeah. yeah she could take easily. Him. Easily. Hawkeye couldn't. If he was far enough away, yeah, he could. <laughs> and like, he was far away and knew he was coming. Maybe. So, like, basically, if we made it the perfect setup down a hall. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, so he, basically, they're going to have to bring in some more movie cameos. Yeah, like, I, we were talking about this um, yesterday when we were watching the show, but I believe that this is probably going to backdoor um, pilot the Hulk. Yeah. It'd be a good season finale, dude, if they just had an hour showdown <laughs> yeah. between Hulk and Graviton, and then Shield's like, we're helping, too. We have lasers. <laughs> I was like, no. Like, the, the episode before the season finale, you know, Banner shows up because everything is gamma-powered in, 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 in Marvel. this show. Everything. everything. In Marvel, everything is gamma. Even if it's not gamma, it's gamma. Yeah, so, like, you know, the, the, it's like, hey, we've got this crystal that came from an alien planet, gamma. which has gamma rays in it. Gamma. So, uh, yeah, so um, the way we figure it, that means you've got to bring Bruce Banner in. He's the, you, you he's the best the person yet. alive in the universe who knows Gamma. He's Yeah. He's the smartest person on the planet. And the strongest one there is. That makes Tony Stark feel a little yeah, small. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just a little bit. I always find it hilarious, though. Like, you have, like, the Shi'ar. You have the Kree. You got the Skrull. They're all super smart. I mean, because they're way ahead of us. Mm-hmm. But Bruce Banner is still the, the best when it comes to radiation. Anywhere. Anywhere. How is that... Possible. I mean, yeah, like the Shi'ar will come to Earth and go. We have a gamma problem. Steal the whole. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> because they they can't do anything about it. But Bruce Banner can. By the way, if you watch the uh, episode of uh, Avengers Assemble, uh, Hulked Out Heroes, there's a really funny part where Natasha asks Hulk, "How do you how do you know this?" He's like, "Gamma scientist." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. I mean, I don't I don't look it, but come on, come on. <laughs> but so you know, we think that's gonna happen. But. Uh, it was a really, it was a really nice episode. Super villains are coming. Super, super excited. But there's one thing that uh, was kind of poking out to me during the episode. Coulson doesn't have the same dexterity he used to have, and he's starting to forget some things, which means he's either having some death amnesia, <laughs> which is possible. Yeah, cause, you know, you may forget things after your brain has ha- had no air for eight minutes. <laughs> it was eight seconds. Eight, oh, eight seconds. Sorry, eight seconds. Because you know he's yeah, it's hard to stop for for eight seconds. And then he and then he, he, he shielded but, back up. Yeah, but but every but every time he tells the story, he gets he's longer. longer yeah. 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 Uh, so either either that's happening, or maybe his uh, robot body vision uh, can't do those little movements just yet because he's I mean how long has it been since the Battle of New York like a few months maybe yeah it looks like it's been a few maybe months maybe he just like he said he was on an island for six months yeah which means that he just and he just came back right so it's been like six months maybe he just woke up <laughs> you know and maybe he's only been up for a couple days 
Because yeah, that's you, true. You're a shield agent. You don't forget how to dismantle a gun, ever, and have Nick Fury still trust you with the plane. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but by the same token, though, he did kind of get all beat up, so it's a little difficult to understand. He, he's probably still adjusting to it, and he may not have all his powers yet. But he was bleeding. Okay, and you're saying that they can't just make a robot body, put some fake skin, and on top of that fake skin, put a layer of blood, and then put some finished skin on top of that? You mean like make a Terminator? Basically, yes. Yeah, they could do that. Yeah. Because they're shield. Because like... You know, Terminators I, I, have been around since the 80s. See, I, I had a friend who was like, but he was bleeding. I'm like, okay, so, a robot who can bleed, crazy, giant green monster fight space aliens, and you're cool with that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, we have people, we have friends who are, who get upset because, like, they have a compound in another country and they're American and they don't like us. And they're like, yeah, okay, so, you you understand the Kingpin is actually not a mutant, but he's as strong as Spider-Man. That's okay. Which makes no sense, but yeah. Yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, you know, Spider-Man can pick up a car. The Kingpin's not a mutant, but he can pick up a car. That's cool. Everybody's alright with that. But... We can't go stay in Buenos Aires. No, that's fine. That, that, that's that's what I, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> um, it, it's kind of lending some, you know, some some credence to the fact that Coulson is uh, not the same Coulson. I'm hoping for Vision, because uh, that'd be cool. And he's kind of claiming it. Yeah. He's. I mean, he's not. I mean, he's not saying no. Then again, he could just love the attention. Well, yeah, but I mean, just as Coulson alone, he's already cool. Yeah. I mean, which is funny Coulson because. Vision. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny, like, the first time we saw him in Iron Man, he wasn't really that cool. He was just some guy. But he was the first one to ever say S.H.I.E.L.D. That's ever. true. Ever. On the screen, ever. That, that's got to be a huge honor. First that, time yeah, to ever say true. S.H.I.E.L.D. ever. That's true. That's very true. He's like, just call it S.H.I.E.L.D. And dude, like, okay, I, w- I, w- I, was, I was younger and I was just starting to get into comics. And I was like, oh! Because <laughs> I, I didn't figure it out from the, the acronym. See, like, if me and Al had gone back there, I would have mm. figured it out from the acronym, but I didn't get it. And when he said, just call it S.H.I.E.L.D., I was like, this is the greatest moment of my life. And then I saw a hammer fall out this guy. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then I saw, I was watching that whole scene, and he started going strategic, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I really like, wanted to like, he, ne- he never even got Homeland out. I was just like, yes! It's S.H.I.E.L.D. He said strategic! <laughs> that means they're going Avengers! Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's... It's going really good so far. The graphics are getting better. The acting is getting better. The hot Asian chick is getting back in the field, which means more of her doing stuff in tight leather outfits. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's for real. That's what's up right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's happening. And next week, I actually forgot what the what they're doing next week. Who cares? Me not. Because we yeah basically we saw her <laughs> and Graviton's hand. And we're like, <laughs> that's that was it for us. But uh, so that that's it for now. I mean, we're gonna keep following Shield. Uh, and Ming-Na. Yeah, and, and Ming-Na, yeah. Please keep watching. Subscribe, us, share, not, favorite. Not the show. You no, go, you watch watch, watch her, and then watch us. And then go watch her again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's it for now for for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer them, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not-so-great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid And Black Superman. See you later, guys.